Welcome, my name is Bill Gerber. I um, have another video for you with uh, tips and tricks on uh, the lighting data tables and how to best optimize those for the um, client's use. Um, now, my method is just one method. Um, you can definitely do different ways. Um, I just find this works best um, for the clients that I've worked with, but I have had clients ask for something slightly different. So um, make sure that you communicate with the client and, and get what they want. If um, you don't have the ability or time to do so, um, you can start from where I am and, and kind of build from there. So um, jumping right in, I am not going to review how to get the lighting file from the uh, lighting processor or convert it um, from the lighting file to a p-list. Um, I can do that in a separate video if needed. Um, today I'm just going to focus on the lighting data table in Savant. So um, if we go in here and we go into the lighting data table and um, the first thing that we're going to want to do is import the uh, lighting file. So I'm going to go searching for the lighting file here. And I'm going to import it into my lighting controller. Now, this import, as you can see, the zone names don't match the actual rooms that I have here. Um, and I've got keypad buttons and things like that. Um, I kind of go through this real quick and, and clean this up with a very standard method. Um, I don't keep any keypad buttons at all in a, in a system. Um, unless a client asks for them after the fact, I just get rid of them. Now, um, when you have items in the lighting data table, um, you can uncheck them and leave them unchecked. They won't show up in the interface. Um, it is still processed in the back end of Savant. Uh, you have a bigger system, a lot of lighting loads, and you're unchecking a lot of stuff. It, it is still somewhat processed um, in, in the back end, uh, especially in the Savant file. Um, so when you're saving, generating services, things like that, that adds time to that. So my recommendation is you have your, your plist file here. Save that as your initial file. And you can always go back to that and, and you know, re-import something that you deleted. My recommendation, delete stuff that you don't want. Now, if there's some things that aren't ready, but you're gonna use, great, perfect, uncheck those. But for the most part, I, I go through and I delete all the items I'm not gonna use. So one of the things you can do is in this data, in this data table, you can click on the columns to sort. So for me to start, I go ahead and click on this entity column. And it sorts everything so all my dimmers are together, all my keypad buttons are together, and all my switches are together. Now, we, um, what I do is I click on this first keypad button, and I scroll down to the last keypad button. I hold the shift key, and I click. And what that does is that highlights all my keypad buttons and I go ahead and I hit the minus and I get rid of them. So now all the keypad buttons are gone. So now I have my switch at the top, I have all my dimmers, and then these button press and release. Um, for Lutron, this is the raise lower buttons, button 18 and button 19. Again, I get rid of all these buttons, so I select the first one, shift select the last one, hit the minus, get rid of them. So now I'm left with just the dimmers. Uh, the next step I do is I sort by location. So now I click on this location and now I get everything grouped by the rooms as they are named in Lutron. And now I wanna match them to the rooms in Savant. So there's two ways to do this. One is you can go to the Savant app zone map and you'll have your Savant zone, and then you say, okay, um, where is the lights that are on the deck? Um, I don't know, maybe the exterior lights. Um, how about the dining room? There's the dining room. So I can do that. The problem is, is if I rename the dining room or if I rename this lighting load, it may break it. 
I also may not um, match these up perfectly or may miss something. So um, perfectly acceptable and, and works well. Um, and it actually works well for something where you have a bedroom and a bathroom and you want and you only have a, a bedroom zone. You can have both lights checked. Uh, let's see, for instance, the um, guest bedroom. And we have the guest bedroom here and the guest bathroom there. So both of these are going to show up in the guest bedroom. Um, I'll show you my method of doing it. Um, this way, I don't have to go into the screen at all. So what I do is I say, okay, well, here's the dining room. And I select with the same method that I selected the keypad buttons. Select the first, shift, select the last. And then I go into this drop-down menu and I select the dining room. And notice it changed the name on both loads. Again, family room. Shift, select the last one, go in, select the family room. And I just keep going through and selecting all the zones. Here's the foyer, here's the kitchen. Living room is all by itself. The office and so on. Okay. So I've finished all of that, but I'm left with one zone that I don't have a savant zone with. Um, so right here, office, bath. So I, I have two options. One, I don't show it in the savant app at all, or I show it in the savant app in with the office zone. So the way I do this is I see, okay, here's the office bath. So I go in and I just add the word bath to the front of the name of the light. Now, these two loads say bath ceiling, bath mirror, and if they're in the office, it'll be clear that those are the office bath ceiling light and the office bath mirror light. So I've done that, and now the but butler's pantry is the same thing. Um, I don't have a butler's pantry zone, but I'm gonna do the kitchen. So now I've added the name and I've put it in the kitchen. So now all my zones are linked to actual savant zones. And if I go in here, all my mapping is done. I didn't have to go through and do any mapping. And it's all matched to the zone it's supposed to be. So less likely for me to, me to make an error by me doing it on this page than it is in this screen here. So once I've done that, then I would have the uh, file ready to upload and view and um, be good to go. There are other options and um, let me show you what it would look like if I um, upload this file. So before I show you the iPad interface with the file that I just built. I wanted to show you the interface with the keypad button still in the build. So going through, we still have all our zones and when we go into the zone, here's what a bunch of keypad buttons would look like. Um, we get buttons that aren't labeled. We get buttons that aren't associated with the room that we're in. And um, you know, I've got almost 10 keypad buttons here. And when we look at the actual lighting loads, um, we only have one lighting load. So it's a lot of, of extra part pieces and parts uh, that, that's just gonna confuse the, the, the customer. Um, removing all these keypad buttons, giving them just the lighting loads, that's really uh, key to uh, why I go with that. Now there may be a need for the keypad buttons in some scenarios, but even this, the home, away, you know, buttons, those aren't needed. You're going to hit the physical button as you walk in and out the door, or you're going to use scenes in the Savant app, not lighting keypad buttons. Now looking at the config with the buttons removed, we uh, 
kind of reduce a lot of that clutter by getting rid of the buttons and we just have the dimmers. Each zone just has the lighting loads associated with that zone. We still have the option at the bottom for the room control and such, but that's it. It uh, reduces a lot of clutter, a lot of confusion, and uh, uh, every room just has the lighting loads associated with it, no extra keypad buttons and such. Okay, so now that you've seen how it looks with no zone organization, um, here's how you add zone organization. So what you do is you go into tools and organize zone groups. Now, just as a reminder, and I'll show you this um, in the, the, on the iPad, this will um, affect the whole project, not just lighting. Um, but these, these zones will show up in the lighting and other areas in this order. So one of the things you can do if you want is grab some of these zones and reorganize them. And this is how they'll show up in the lighting data tables or in the lighting page on the pro app. Uh, another thing, because there are so many zones, um, the other thing you can do is group them um, and you can group them by areas. So one of the things I do is exterior, first floor, second floor, things like that to just make it a little bit easier to sort through. So you can do this by shifting, um, holding the command key and individually selecting zones and hit the plus, or if they happen to be grouped um, in, in an area like this, you can select the first one, hold the shift key and go to the last one. So this group here are all outside zones. So I've created a new group. I'm going to call it outside and go back into the rest of my zones. And let's see here, all of these rooms here are on the third floor. So I create a group and I call it third floor. All of these zones here are on the lower level or the first floor. And all these zones here are on the main floor. So now I've got some zone groups um, laid out, but you know, I don't want the main floor group to be last. So I want to reorganize these a little bit and, and just make sure to pay attention because you can goof your zone organization pretty easily and have to start over. But uh, not that that's a big deal. Just be slow with these selections because when you do this, um, you're going to want to click and hold on your group and wait until you see the name kind of start hovering. If you start dragging too soon, you'll select a bunch of rooms or a group. And then you're gonna drag this to where you want it. Now, look at the blue bar that's moving as I'm dragging this up. And it's showing you that it's going inside the group. And I don't want it inside another group. I want it outside the group. So I wanna drag it and I wanna make sure that it's outside the group. And you'll see um, when I drag let's say the third floor up, see how it's inside the group. And if I move over like that, now the dot is outside the group. So that's, that's going to just help to make sure you land them and organize them properly. So that's the zone organization. Um, and now I'll show you how the, um, how to look in the app. So here's the same interface, same lighting loads and everything, but now we've done zone organization. So we have groups like the main floor, first floor, third floor, and outside. And you can order them in priority. And it's a quick, easy way to, to get to, okay, I know I'm going to the third floor, the kids' room. And you can get to the areas quicker. Um, obviously, the more zones, the more beneficial it is to do this. Um, the other thing is when you do this zone organization and you're in the rooms view, 
right at the top under the home button you'll see the all rooms and if you click on all rooms then you can actually go and do the zone organization in your room tiles so now i have the main floor tile and i only have those six zones uh, i can go to the third floor and i just have the third floor zones and outside and such so um, aside from organizing the um, lighting pages it's also going to help you organize some of your other room pages as well so one of the last things i always recommend is once you've done all your editing and work in your data table make sure to do a backup you've checked it in the user interface and everything go into lighting go down here to your export button and save yourself a backup um, that way for whatever reason if someone were to make a mistake or rearrange something or delete something or re-import something um, you can actually just go ahead and clear this whole thing out hit the minus button, it's all gone, and I can go and import that backup, and it's right back the way I, I set it when I was happy with it. So um, it, it's always great to just do that because then if something, for whatever reason, were to happen, you can, you can re-import. Um, one other final note, um, so the zone organization organizes the zone orders. After that, the actual order that lights are in this table for instance the kids room maybe you want the chandelier to show up first so this is the order that it's going to show up in the app so we can drag that to the top and you want the lamp and you want the ceiling and then the closet ceiling is last and that's the order it's going to show up in the app uh, I hope this was a helpful video to you and uh, uh, you got a lot to it. If uh, you have any questions or comments, please post them on the video. Uh, click subscribe and uh, get some uh, further updates and tips and tricks. Thanks.